Hello, this is Prepare Smarter. Today I'm going to teach you how to create maps for your Garmin Fortrex GPS units. The first step to creating maps for your Garmin Fortrex is to go to the Garmin website and download Basecamp. Basecamp is the mapping software used by Garmin. After you download this, install it. Next, we're going to go to GPS File Depot and download Topo Maps. Garmin Basecamp doesn't come with very good mapping. In fact, it doesn't come with much at all. Scroll down to the installation area, click download, and then install the topo maps that you've downloaded here. I'll put a link to these download pages in the video description. After you've installed everything, open up Basecamp. The first step is to create a new folder and list for us to work in. This helps us keep everything separated. You can see the stock map is very minimal, only containing highways and some roads. Luckily, we've already downloaded better maps. Go to Maps and select the map that you downloaded. Now you can see contour lines, highways, roads, and points of interest. This is much better than the stock map. Now we're going to create our first waypoint. Go to the top and select the waypoint tool. It looks like a red flag. Select your first point and you'll see a point is automatically named on the left. We're going to go on and rename it so we don't get confused later. Trailhead. Select the pan tool and we're going to move up to our second point. Our next waypoint is going to be the tip of this point. Go back to your waypoint tool and click on the location. We're going to go on and rename this due to the size limitations of the four tracks. We have to keep the name short. Next, we're going to go to our third point. We're going to pick this ranger station. This name is definitely too long, so we need to shorten it up. Go back to pan, and let's zoom out. You can see the three points that we created. Now let's make a route. Select the three points, right click and go to create route. You'll see that it creates a straight line path between the three. Go back to the route, right click, click open. These are the waypoints on our route. We're going to add another one to create a closed loop. Click to rearrange the path and close. close. Don't click create track, just close the window. You can now see that we've got a closed route that follows our waypoints. The main problem with this is that it gives us a straight line path to the points, ignoring the trail. This could work well in a forest or somewhere where you're walking off trail, but in this case we want to follow the actual trails. Garmin Basecamp doesn't have the ability to create these routes, so we'll have to open up something different. To save time, let's export our existing waypoints. Select the waypoints, click File, Export, and Export Selection. Save this file. Now let's open up CalTopo. CalTopo is a free browser-based mapping application. We're going to import our existing waypoints. Go up to the top and click Import, select your file, and then click Import. You can see the waypoints are now on screen. Now we want to create a route between them. Click Add, and then click Line. Let's select our first point, and then navigate up to the second point. When we hover, we can see that the path automatically snaps to the trails. Now click to set your second point. Next, we're going to go to our third point. Click on the point, and in the same way, the path is going to snap to the trail. Because we want our path to be a closed loop, let's go back to the starting point and finish out the map. Let's scroll back down. and click on our last point. Now we have a closed loop. We can click on the path to open up information about it, such as the profile and terrain statistics. Under profile you can see the distance and elevation change. Let's export this. Go to export, export KML. I'm unselecting the waypoints because we already have them in Basecamp. Save the file and now let's switch back over to Basecamp. In Basecamp, go File, import, and then select the file you just exported. 
You can see now that the path that we created in CalTopo is now in Basecamp. The path is imported as a track, and we want to turn it into waypoints. So right-click on the path, and click Create Route from Track. Hit OK. And now we have a route that we can follow on our Garmin. I'm going to right-click and Open. And what I'm going to do is add the waypoints to the beginning, middle, and end. Add a new point, the trailhead, at the very beginning. And then scroll down. We're going to end at the same trailhead, so we'll add it again. Next, we have to find the point in the middle where our second and third waypoint will be. Scroll to where the second waypoint is. We're going to look at the points next to it, so 110, 112, and then we're going to scroll up. Here we are, and you can click the waypoints to make sure that you selected the correct one. Add the point, and then we're going to go to our next waypoint. Scroll over to the ranger station, and zoom in. We're going to do the same thing, selecting the point to make sure we're in the right area, 204. We're going to scroll down to 204. Click Add, and we're going to add ranger station waypoint. this point you can just close the window and zoom out. So the path is now completed with waypoints added. Now would be a good time to rename these. I like to keep both routes and tracks on my Garmin. Tracks are nice because you can show them on the map even if you're not following them and routes are nice because it automatically routes you from waypoint to waypoint. Last step is to transfer the maps to your Garmin. Open the battery compartment and plug in the micro USB. You'll see the four tracks appears in the top left corner of Basecamp. I like to back up all my files to the computer whenever I connect it. Drag the new list that we created down to the four tracks. Automatically it will start transferring the data. And that's it. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, and come back for more content in the future.